Good morning, everybody. This is Tanetta coming to you with the video of the morning. I actually wrote down a topic. Um, today's Friday, so it had to be a probably Monday or Tuesday of this week. I didn't put the date on here, but it had to be early this week. <clears throat> and it was talking about, well, I was talking about wanting to talk about rewriting your story. Because I have been seeing, of course, um, well, some of the posts, of course, I've made in the past, of course. Um, some other people's posts that I've seen about different things that's going on in their life and them having to, of course, learn to recreate another life and rewrite their story. I guess I put it that way. Um, and that, like I said, that's what brought this video on this morning. And thank you, Pina, for <clears throat> excuse me for tuning in this morning. Because um, I know we all go through, I'm just going to call it death period, whether it's a death of, of, of a relationship or actually a um, death of a person, I guess I put it that way, or the death of our job, that we lost our job or we switched jobs or we're starting a business or whatever the case may be. Like I said, there is always some kind of death and some kind of change that's going to happen in our lives. And I know I've been through a lot as far as relationships and different things that had to change and different jobs I had to change. I guess I put it that way as well. We all go through those things. But the main thing is realizing that I know with all those things, we all have some kind of grieving time, I guess I can say. Of course, in a real life death, somebody's passing away, of course, that may be a little bit longer. But for some, of course, as far as the death of a relationship, a partner, a marriage, that kind of thing, or... Um, the job, whether you lost your job, you quit your job, you moved on from your job or the death, I guess, whether you want to, I guess, you, if, if you lost your house or you lost your car, that kind of thing. Like I said, we all go through those grieving moments and moments that we feel that we cannot move on or we feel that we've lost everything and it's never going to get better, that kind of thing. But I just want to make sure that I came and talk, I guess, talk to you all about it, like I said about this this morning, just to know that things will be okay. No, they may not be okay that day, that time, that hour, that whatever is happening is happening. But like I said, we all have to go through change at some point. And we all have to choose to whether we're going to, of course, sit back in that change and not allow the growth and just wallow in it, become depressed and all those kind of things. Or if we're going to take that change to recreate our new lives, I guess I put it that way. Um, recreate the life that we want to see, re re recreate something new. I know we all have lost something. I know that. I know we all have different roles that we have to fit into once we have had those losses. Um, and that's kind of hard, which, which, which I know definitely is hard, especially if you're losing, actively losing a person in your life. Like, like I said, whether that's through a relationship or actually an actual death, there's always, our roles will always change with that. I know when I've, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I've lost my parents, of course, my role, I'm, I'm still, of course, technically a daughter, that kind of thing. But I had to learn how to move on and how to recreate my life as not having my parents in my life and my new role as being a, um, I guess I'm the only child, I guess the only child and recreate, like, like I said, just recreating my life and, and moving on from that point. Yes, it was very hard. Yes, it took years to do. I guess I put it that way. Yes, I had a lot of forgiveness to go through and different things like that. But yes, I, of course, was able to do so. Like I said, I just could not sit back. And I, I've lost many in my life. Um, co cousins, families, friends, um, different, like I said, just a whole lot of folks, of course, in my life. Many. I have a whole photo album full of folks that it doesn't even cover all the folks that I've lost, actually. But I've lost a lot throughout my life due to death and murders and different things and having to go through all those different grieving processes and knowing that my role, like I said, is changing. I'm no longer that. Like I said, that that active daughter that I was, I'm no longer that active friend that I was or the active cousin in her life that I was because they're no longer here. And like I said, I had to go through all those grieving processes. And of course, I still at times go through different things as far as grieving goes. We all will. That will never change. But like I said, as far as us knowing that with all these roles changing in our life that we get, we have to, if you're wanting to, you don't have to. But in my mind, if you're wanting to, of course, not become depressed, not become suicidal, not become stuck where you are, there is a chance for you to, of course, take that opportunity and grow. Um, grow I guess grow into whatever you're, you're wanting to do, whether you're wanting to grow into becoming an entrepreneur or you're wanting to grow into becoming a new wife, I guess if your husband left or you left your husband or your partner or whatever it is, or if you're wanting to grow into becoming a new family member of somebody, I don't know, whoever it is, because you can always build a support system no matter where you are, no matter where you're going, and no matter where the people are, I guess I put it that way as well. 
They don't always have to be fa like blood related family to you. They can, of course, be somebody online or they can be, of course, your neighbors. You never know who may come into your life to fulfill some of the roles that you may have lost. I guess I put it that way in the past. And like I said, there's a lot of things that we uh, thank you. Um, I, 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 I don't think I said it this morning, but thank you, Pina, Velasquez and Christine for tuning in this morning. And I'm glad you all are here. But like I said, as far as rewriting your story, like I said, I've had to do it a lot of times throughout my life, whether that was the loss of the relationships I've had and me no longer being a wife, me no longer being a partner and me having to, of course, become a single person and knowing how to recreate that life and le learning how to love myself again and learning how to become the person that I know that I can be. I guess I put it that way with or without this person or whoever the next partner is going to be. Like I said, we have we all have to go through things like that. Like I said, it's our choice whether we, we want to, like I said, wallow in that, what I lost and all the the things I lost, what I no longer have, all those kind of things. Are we choosing to, of course, move on and grow to what I can have in the future, to what I can, of course, recreate? Like I said, I know that's a lot. I know I've seen a lot on my page, of course, a lot of the friends that I had, well, not a lot, but some of the friends that I have, or of course, losing family members, mother, father, aunt, um, husbands, those kind of things, and kids as well, our children, I guess I put it that way as well. And like I said, I know those are very, very hard things to deal with because we all go through our own grieving process. And I just want to say don't rush that process if that's, if that's the process that you're currently going through. I've been in that process many a times for many a years, I guess I put it that way, with all that I've lost. But like I said, as far as the roles that you, of course, were, was the mother, you were, you were the father or... You was the husband, you were the wife for that kind of thing. Like I said, through all those deaths, through all those deaths of the relationship and the people that we have in our life, yes, we will have to recreate another life for ourselves and rewrite our story. Like I said, yes, it's hard to do at times. It can be. It's just as hard as you make it. I guess I'd say that because I know I see some, of course, on here. And that's why I'm making this video as well. But I see some that's on here, of course, on my timeline, of course, with different posts and different things that they're saying, of course, struggling a lot with um, the the loss that has happened and learning how to, of course, like I said, do be in another role. Yes, I know it's hard when you lose a partner or your mother, father, like I have, that kind of thing. Like I said, you have to, at some point, if you're wanting to move on and grow and not wallow in that, you have to learn how to, to recreate those roles. Like I said, it may not come from, or it's not gonna come from the person that you lost, of course. But it can come from, of course, like I said, another type of support system that you want to create in your life. I guess I'd say that. And like I said it before, it does not have to be family. It does not have to be blood related. It could be anyone that you choose, whether it's a coworker, a neighbor, a group that you're in on Facebook, somebody that you meet that feels like a mother role to you, that kind of thing. Or somebody that you meet that seems like a friend that you've had that passed away a long time ago. Those kind of things do happen. I've had it happen. Actually, They, they actually do happen. But like I said, we have to learn how to recreate ourselves in those kind of ways. Like I said, I know that it's definitely scary, but you have to allow the newness to come in if that's what you're really wanting. Of course, like I said, I know the grieving process sometimes can take years. Mine had taken years. But like I said, as far as those roles and those things that we know that we can, of course, push past, and at some point we'll have to push past. If not, you're going to lose your mind. I can tell you that because I've seen people do that as far as the grieving process, and they're just stuck and have no no idea which way to go, what to do, how to recreate their life, how to, of course, step into this new role. Of course, there's, of course, school has just started. There are some parents who, of course, kids are going off to college, and they're now having empty nests, and now they're trying to figure out how to recreate those roles as being, I guess, singles, I guess, living together again. I guess I can say that with just with, without having the kids at home, without having the um, the energy to put into the kids so they're off living their own life now. We have all those kind of things going on. And I know people who are having those things going on and it's empty nest. And like I said, some folks go through the process. That is a grieving process as well. Some folks are scared, of course, don't know how to relate to each other in the household without the kids there. Because the kids, of course, were kind of another outlet for people to, of course, put their time and energy into at times I've seen without having them work on their actual marriage or their actual relationship. I've seen that. And I've seen some folks get divorced behind that as well because they cannot no longer relate and they use the kids as the relation, I guess, in, in well, how am I going to put that? I guess they use the kids as a way that they can relate, relate a way that, 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 that they could, um, 
I guess relate to each other, I guess the best way I could put it. But like I said, I have seen those kind of marriages and those relationships fall apart because once those kids leave that household and you all are going through that process, it's kind of difficult for some people. And they realize that, of course, at some point the love wasn't there or whatever it was and that they just can no longer relate. And like I said, that's, of course, sad situation that will, of course, happen in some people's lives, I'm sure, because like I said, I've seen that happen. But like I said, we're dealing with that situation as well. We have to learn how to grow back into our roles and grow back into who we are. I know a lot of us, of course, we're dealing with others. And that's actually just life in general. We're dealing with others. And sometimes we lose ourselves in relationships. Or, but It doesn't matter whether it's a friendship or family or um, 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 marriage or just a committed relationship or whatever you're in. Sometimes that happens. We're all human. I mean, that's going to happen. Um, but the only thing I can say is that when those people, of course, gravitate out of your life, you will have to learn how to be the person you are. You will have to learn how to love yourself. Of course, again, those kind of things. I've had to do that as well because I've had that happen in my life as well. Like I said, it's not easy to do, but you definitely can do it. It has been done. I'm doing it. I guess I put it that way as well. And there's many, I'm sure, possibly on this video who have done it as well. But I do want, like I said, I but what time is it? Okay, so I want to go ahead and get this video ended so I can go ahead and get off to work this morning. But like I said, I wanted to come to you all with this video this morning about re rewriting your story. Just to let you know that, that the death of a relationship or an actual person in your life will create that, of course, grieving process. I mean, will create that grieving process, of course, in your life. But you, of course, have to learn how to, over time, how to fit back into whatever role you want to play. I guess I put it that way. I know you long, you may not long, no, no longer be, of course, that wife or that husband or that best friend or that, or that uncle or that aunt. Those relationships have fizzled or the person has actually passed on. But like I said, we have to learn how to, re, I guess, fit back into those roles. Well, fit back into a role that, of course, makes us comfortable where we can grow and where we can thrive with our own life. I guess I'd say that. And like I said, we have to allow the newness to come in at some point, because if not, like I said before, you will definitely lose your mind. You will definitely have a lot of struggles along the way in your grieving process. Excuse me. But like I said, I do want to go ahead and end this video. I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Pina, Velasquez, Christine, and for anybody that, of course, catches the replay, do enjoy. And everybody, today's Friday the 13th. I know some folks are, of course, superstitious. I'm not at all, but... Happy Friday to everybody, and I hope you all have a blessed day, and everybody take care.